Hello guys, it is me, Prince K here, and today I'll be showing you how to regain access to the PSN on your PS3 version 4.82, and so let's get started. <laughs> description to download the PS3 proxy server and basically when you've downloaded it you can go ahead and extract it and then you're gonna go ahead and open the folder you want to first install the net framework 1.1 then you want to copy and paste the PS3 proxy server into the C drive so you're just gonna come over here to your C drive and click paste and you're gonna click continue you're going to open up your C drive and install it from there, the PS3 proxy server. Just going to go through the setup. And there it should be installing. And here it is done installing. And now if you were to go into our folder, which is Program Files x86. And here we'll have this folder called CF3D5. And we're going to open it. And we are going to right click on ps3.proxyserver.gui and click run as administrator. Here we should have the PS3 proxy server GUI. And we're going to go back to that folder that we had extracted. And here we have the update list link. We are going to open it and copy this link that's in the text file we're then gonna go into back into the ps3 proxy server gui into the replace files tab and click on add and we're gonna come over here to the left bar and paste the link there then we're gonna come over here to the right bar beside the right bar though this blue it's just gonna be this tab here and we are gonna click on it and we are going to also go back to that PS3 proxy server folder, that same folder. And we this time we're going to open the PS3 update list, the PS3 update list. And then we can go into proxy, uh, proxy settings. And before we can do anything else, we need to type our IP address. And to get that, all we have to do is simply launch command prompt. And to get our IP address from command prompt, we just simply type in IP config. And here, a bunch of things will load up, but you want to look for IPv4 address, and your IP address should be here. And you're going to basically want to type it up here. So I'm just going to type it up now. And then we're going to click on PS3 mode and we're gonna click start now we're gonna head over to our ps3 okay guys so as you can see here my ps3 is on hand you can see hand toolbox here if i was going to my settings system settings and scroll down to system information here you can see i'm on version 4.82 that means i'm not on the latest firmware which is 4.83. So I'm gonna go down to network settings, internet connection settings. We're gonna click custom, and you're gonna choose whichever one you use. I use wireless. I'm gonna click on whichever one again you use. I'm gonna scan for my internet. I'm gonna click on my internet, and I'm gonna enter in my password. And we are going to slide to the right, slide to the right, slide to the right, slide to the right. And when we come over here to proxy server, we are going to click on Hughes. And then under address, you're going to enter in that IP address that you are shown when you launched up a uh, command prompt and typed in IP config. You are going to use that same IP address, the same one that you also typed up onto the proxy server application you're going to use it right here and then make sure you just leave the port number 8080 and you're going to slide to the right slide to the right when press x circle 
and then here we are going to click sign in and as you can see guys we have been successfully signed in to the PSN everything is working so guys if this was helpful don't forget to drop a like comment and subscribe please guys do share this and if you are stuck on any of the steps in this video do feel free to comment and i will help you peace out